Hello and welcome back. Now, mathematics and beauty, not two words that you normally associate with one another, but research has found that mathematical formulae can evoke the same sense of beauty that we get from artistic masterpieces or music from the great composers. Brain scans done at University College London have found the same emotional brain centres used to appreciate art are activated by, believe it or not, beautiful maths. Well, I'm delighted to say that Dr. Sara Santos, a long-term friend of the programme, is with me from uh, Maths Busking. So, those just look like numbers and letters to me. Mostly letters, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes. But um, I think it's a little bit like with modern art. Uh, quite often you can look at a painting think this is absolutely ugly or revolting uh, or this is very beautiful and elegant. And I, I think it's quite normal to have a little bit of that re response to equations if you know a little bit more behind it, which happens with mathematicians in the same way that educated people educated in art will see a lot more into a painting than common you know common mortals will see into an equation i mean we've got uh, e equals mc squared which you know einstein's theory of relativity famous and it, yes. famous famous yes. famous famous it's another famous one there a squared equals b squared plus c squared there's something we need to add a triangle there we need to add a right angle triangle because that's pythagoras theorem um but we've got a few others that um one i that um, was interesting to see the response, the e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0. Um, I was quite interested in why that is so elegant. And thinking about it, 1 and 0 are very innocent looking numbers. Because 1 and 0 are just, you know, they won't harm you. They're not difficult numbers to think about. Whereas on the other side, we've got e, which is, happens to be a transcendental number. And pi as well is another transcendental number. In the case of pi, it's, we know that the decimal expansion of it uh, goes on forever and without repetitions or patterns. Whereas i, it's mind-boggling because it's an imaginary number and hard to imagine, paradoxically. And, uh, and that equation combines very elegantly two innocent numbers with three numbers that are a little bit more challenging. And that union is, brings that elegance between things that look dissimilar. Presumably, Sarah, in maths, there are, you can have different formulas applied mm. to get you to the, what you want to work out. And p do people choose the more attractive formula compared to the ugly formula as a means of working out a, sort of certain problems? Um, if you have... So a formula summarises a theory. is is really a statement that says this equals that. And so a formula is more like the end of the game, let's say. And then you can use it to solve problems. But if you've got different... Uh, so if you've got alternative expressions for the same equation, you might want to use the easier one, the one that is easier to implement in a computer, or the one that's going to give you... The, will will you, know. you ever look at a mathematical formula and sort of smile at it and think, oh, what a, what a cool thing that is? Yes, I, I, I think, for example, the um, V minus E plus F equal 2 that you can apply easily to when you look at a cube or a pack of milk and you look at the vert how many vertices, corners, edges and, and um, faces of your pack of milk and you can count all of those, pull in the formula and it is two. Um, and that's kind of a cute and simple uh, equation. So I think that's more of a cute one, whereas um, the, there's, you know, the equations usually connecting prime numbers are... Um, I kind of, I'll g give them a, a give smile them a of a, yes, this is Sarah, clever. Sarah, this has been absolutely fascinating. Thank you very much. I, 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 we haven't got time. I wanted to know what are guilty numbers. If naught and one are innocent numbers, I want to know what are the guilty evil numbers. <laughs> we'll come and do that another time. Sarah, thank you very much. You do thank for being you. with us.